Hey there all, craft beer lovers. Thank you for joining me for this beer review. Time to take that old trip, guys. We're heading towards Manchester in the UK, back to uh, Cloudwater Brewing Company. Taking a look at their Ness Atalanta double IPA. One-off, they say, so it's a one-off brew, uh, 8% alcohol by volume, 440 mil can. Uh, there's a look at the artwork. I'm going to swing the can around a little bit there. Right. There we go. Got a little bit of text there, inspired by our much-loved triple IPA. It's this double IPA blends the juicy stone fruit and punch and pine, provided by Idaho 7, with Motika's beautifully bright zesty lemon and lime. There you go. Right. So with that said, let's give it a pop, see what we get then. Right. There we go, filled to the very brim, that we like. Right, so let's give it a good old center pour. Righty. Okay, let's see. Okie dokie then. And the last few drops, of course, with all the lovely sediments. There we go. Okay. Uh, two fingers worth of off-white head, small bubbles on top. Nice foam, nice, nice head on it. Oh yeah, look at that. That's juice. That's hop juice in a glass. Lovely looking presentation onto the nose. Yeah, it's got a really nice aroma to it. Fruity, tropical. Oh yeah, I get peach, mango. Maybe a little bit of stone fruit in there. It's really, really, it's got those really, really kind of, you know, green hops there. That, almost like that dankness in there. Not vegetable-like, but that lovely sweet dankness on the nose. Yeah, it looks nice. Let's go for it. Cheers all. Okay. Okay, so it's got a mi it's 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 not that sweet that I thought it would be. It's actually not that sweet at all. Because they said there, back on the can there, they said uh, like a triple, this is like a triple IPA. And they tend to be more kind of sweet. It's not really sweet. It's piney. It's very, very hoppy. It's a little bit of a, uh, yeah. I gotta go again. Gotta go again. There is a very fruity initial taste and a very, very faint hint of bubblegum. Not that very sweet, though, but it's a little bit of that bubblegummy vibe. Just ever so slight there, and then it disappears. And you're left with that kind of dry, not really chalky, but almost a little bit chalky uh, aftertaste there. Uh, very hoppy, slightly earthy finish to it. I mean, yeah, it's a, not a bad beer. It's a really nice beer, actually. Uh, but I did expect it to be a little bit more sweet there. But as it stands, it's a nice double IPA. Final sip, then. Mm. Mm. Spritzy carbonation. A little bit of a... It's very fruity initially. A little bit of dankness in the middle, then it moves over into a more dry, a little bit, little bit bitter and chalky aftertaste. A little bit earthy finish to it. Uh, for me, guys, it's not a bad beer. 
uh, Ness Atalanta from uh, Cloudwater Brewing Company out of Manchester. Their double IPA, alcohol 8%, very well hidden in there. Uh, but it's nothing out of the ordinary for me. It doesn't really, you know, doesn't make me jump, ju- you know, jump up and down of excitement here. It's But it's a good, nonetheless good IP, double IPA. For me, 3.75 out of 5. Thank you for watching.